Adam. Yeah. Netflix and Grill. I'll be right there. What's up guys, it's Jeremy from It's Pronounced Bag. Before we get into this grill install video, I wanted to give a shout out to Nemesis Autosport and uh, also Carbon Labs. Uh, both were awesome to work with. I ordered the grill through Nemesis a little bit earlier in the, um, in the whole COVID thing and it took a while to get shipped to me because it got hung up in customs. Uh, ben was completely awesome, providing updates the entire time. Um, and both Ben and Johan, Johan's with Carbon Labs, they were awesome in helping me through some of the challenges I ran into, which you'll find out in the video, um, even on a Friday night as they were trying to spend some time with their families. Anyways, links below in the description to go support those guys. They got the highest quality stuff, uh, great to work with, super supportive in the community. Look forward to showing you the rest of the video. Comment below, smash like, hit subscribe. Here we go. What's up everybody, welcome back. I'm Jeremy and it's pronounced bag. Today, we got a new grill. And uh, it is from Carbon Labs. It took a while to get in, but it was well worth the wait. Um, the quality is super nice and I'm excited to get it on the S5 today. So, Adam's on his way over and we're gonna get this thing filmed and we'll show you how to do it. All right, stick with me. Hey guys, so today, um, if you didn't notice by the intro, there's a little bit of limited garage space. So we're gonna run through a method of removing your bumper with limited garage space. Uh, one of the things you gotta do first is you have to be able to get to these Torx bolts that are behind in the wheel well behind the bumper. So we've got the car pulled in, not very much room anywhere. Um, we've got a, a buddy who's moving up and we're just helping him out, letting him store his stuff here for a couple of days but I really wanted to get the grill on. So, you know what? You just make do with what you got. Anyways, so what we've done is we pull the car in, just turn the wheel so we can get in here and get these, uh, these bolts. When I'm done with this side, we'll turn the wheel the other way and do the same over there. Now we don't want to forget that we do have to peel the, the inside fender well liner back just a little bit. If you remember the intercooler video that we did, we used a long extension to get back. There, there's a nut inside here that you gotta remove in order to take the bumper off. So, we're gonna do that. We're gonna film all this stuff and uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right, so right here we got the first bolts that you wanna remove, they're Torx, they're T20s. Uh, and you just take these out. That'll release the liner so you can get back in here where the other bolt is holding the bumper on. All right, so full disclosure, uh, we forgot how to get to this bolt, exactly what we needed. Um, it's back there a ways, and so you do need like a long extension uh, with a T30 connection. Um, and the way we remember that is because we went back and watched our video on that APR intercooler install. So we'll cut to that clip because we did a good job of showing you how to get to it right now. All right, so here's one of those areas we were talking about. So we've got all the, all the bolts and all the T25 screws and T30 screws or whatever removed and we've, we've our next step here is to like gently very gently work to kind of fold this back and it's a little bit of a challenge to get out from under this lip but if you can if you can get it away enough you can see all the way back up in here is actually where the T30 bolt is uh, if you've got a ratchet with a long extension this is what we found worked the best to get back in there and take that off. Um, and so you can get in there. It's not, it's not actually very tight. It just kind of comes off fairly easily. Uh, seeing it and getting the light back there and lining it up is the challenging part. Making sure you stay on there. Okay, that is out. Go ahead and cut it. 
flashlight on it. Alright. That is dead. Alright. Ready? All yep. Right. So the, the next thing is, if you can see, right here there's a little plastic piece. Um, and this is where the instructions are similar to the S4 but slightly different. So um, you get in and you can kind of just use a flat head to lift that up. But you can't, you can't really get the whole thing. So I've got a tiny nasty pair of needle nose pliers here. Um, and this worked for us on the other side after some goofing around with it. But you can get just enough of a pull with the pliers to get that base to start to rise out of there. And then once you get the base, it's actually kind of two parts. Then you can pull, then you can reach in here and you can pull the whole thing. And you want it to stay together like that. I mean, I'm guessing. It looks like it'd be bad if it came apart. So, um, so anyways, two little tips and tricks that we kind of found that just helped us out on this. So quick tip, if you're having trouble seeing where that screw is down here, if you look under your engine bay, you've got this little hole right here and you got a phone, you can stick it right over that hole and believe it or not, it lights up that cavity with enough light for you to be able to see where you can get that uh, T30 uh, tip into the bolt and get it undone. All right, so in order to remove this, there's a button on the back side of here. You're just gonna push in and that pops off. It may not come off that easy. I actually had this done already. And then you're just gonna lift up on this and pull this plastic shroud off. It's gonna unclip from the front and just slide out from inside there. All right, so along the front here, you've got all of these bolts that you need to remove. Along the top of the bumper and grill, just so everything comes off nice and easy. Hey, uh, what are you, what are you doing there? Oh, uh, well, I just shut the hood without this piece on there. So, <laughs> I'm gonna fish it in there. So, I got it back on there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh and it's no. broken and gone forever. <laughs> uh, are you able to reach it with some channel lock pliers and just. Nope, I got it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't want to pop out though. I got it on there. I'm visualizing the same position that it was in. Oh, now it's popped on it, so. Hey! One of the things we just ran into is I haven't actually pulled up on these Any ramps since. Literally ran into them. I literally ran into them. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, I haven't um, pulled up on them in, since I've gotten the 034 Motorsport Dynamic Springs. So luckily my driveway backs down a little bit and I was able to kind of change the angle of the bumper. But um, if you've got lowering springs, you're going to need different ramps. These are just the uh, little ones yeah. you pick up at. Or you, you know, can pull up on some 2 by 4s or something. Or you can pull up on some two by fours or something. We got lucky. We're smart. <laughs> and now we're under the bumper. And you've got a T25 right there. And you've got five T30s here, 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 here. And then that's your other T25. And then your bumper should come off. What you do here is uh, just right here where the bumper comes together with the fender, you pull slightly and it'll just kind of pop loose. Let me see how you do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, it's coming off already. Yep. Wow. And then you just move the bumper forward. Uh, 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 hold on. We got some wires back here. I think it's just one down. Okay. One, just one plug, and it's right here on the driver's side. And we've got two sensors here, 
You're going to want to uh, pull the little gray tab out, push it down, and you should be able to remove the plug there. And then one on the other side, same way. After you're done with that, literally it's just removing these um, T25 bolts. It actually looks like your sensors are sitting on a little tab right there just with these little clips so you want to put the sensor pull the sensor wire off uh, you can see the little grabber clip that goes there um, and then grab your teeth All of these little uh, wire grippers are actually on the grill. So let's pull those off, get them out of the way. By the way, this did not come with instructions. So kind of looking at all of this and figuring it out as I go. All right. Now, it appears there's a number of clips through here. Um, little gray tabs here. It's not, gonna be, it's not gonna be gray for everybody. Uh, well, so there's bumper color tabs that come <laughs> through and you need to slide those over <coughs> on that side. So here's what I did. Took a flathead screwdriver and just very carefully got up under here and separated it. Got up under here and separated it. You'll feel it kind of click just ever so slightly. Um, and then the tabs I'm talking about are, are this one. It's body colored. This one's gonna come in. And then right here is another one that also you push you push in and they should allow the the bumper to sort of come in towards you there we go so that pops off there it looks like you have the same thing here and the same thing here and then you've got these other pieces down here on the bottom there it goes so that came loose and then we got the same thing like here, 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 and here, right? So let's just see if we can slowly work our way without damaging anything. That's the hard part is there's really nothing to get leverage on. Let's get on the face. All right, so these are T25 bolts under here. Now remove these. Now we don't want to confuse those for whatever reason with the real ones. I think they're probably the same. Just in case. All right. Now. got um, a little clip here and one here. Just have to so you just you push this black piece in here. And then you can pop. If you can get it through the. Yeah, this one goes. Any bets? You gotta push it down a little bit, lift this up, and then you can pull it straight out. <clears throat> no breaky. No breaky. Okay. Alright, so 
the best way to do this that I've found, I don't know, maybe there's some instructions elsewhere on the internet that I don't know about, but if you get a piece of, or some, some needle nose pliers, preferably ones with the bends like this, um, I was able to kind of get this right here on this one here and kind of pull this tab in while I'm lifting up so I can Oh. There we go. Sorry. There we go. Six of them. There we go. Thanks. Okay. Lower grill removed painfully but successfully. All right, this should be much easier. Yeah, this can all be done, feels like by hand. Okay. In this case, you can probably use your screwdriver also, just because you can. You're up against a pretty, pretty substantial part of the grill here. Okay. Old grill successfully off. That um, sucks more than I thought. Alright, so, new bumper. New bumper. New grill. This is going to pop right in. <sighs> Man, I hope so. so. if you see on the back of the grill here, there's just these little flip and remove these sensors. Alright, so uh, basically if you don't have sensors, it comes with the sensor blanks, apparently. Hold it up real quick. Oh. Sensor blanks. All right, and you just put the sensor blank in there. I do have sensors, so we'll get the sensors in there, and then we will um, see what's going on with the crash bar here. You ready? All right, so one thing we noticed, we've got the new sensors in the new grill. Um, on, the, on the other grill, on the stock grill, these, are, these plugs are actually on the inside, so um, they don't fit that way. You need to turn them so they're on the outside on the new grill, and that's it. Okay. Just set this in here. Just snap it on. Okay. Snappy it to me, baby. Yeah.
All right, well, so we ran into a little snag -a -rooney. So these sensors right here uh, happen to clash with my cra crash bar right here. And so I've had to make a little bit of a modification. As you can see, there's actually no structural um, part right here that needs to be intact. It's actually just a part of this plastic piece here. And so everything's still rigid, nothing's busted. Yeah, I'm sure it's there for a reason, but I have a 2019 with a crash bar revision, which is why um, the sensors are running into the crash bar here. So I've elected to notch it out and uh, clean this all up and put it back on. So I have a oscillating tool here with a metal, soft metal, um, plastic and wood blade, I guess you would say, and that is what I'm using to cut it. Alright, so now I'm going to pull this off with some pliers and just bend it up like this. And there it goes. I'll end up filing the rest of that down. I don't know if I can bend. Yeah, I'll just file the rest of that down. Uh, so this notch should make enough room for the sensor to slide and the plug to slide back in here. And then you're good to go. Catch you later.